Hello, would you like to learn how to design these awesome multicolor gradients? Stay in this video, because I'm going to teach you how. Okay guys, the first thing that we're going to do is open Adobe Illustrator. We're going to create a new file. And this file is going to be, let's do it in the web option. And we're going to go with 1920 by 1080. And we're going to create a new one. That's it. As simple as that. We're going to create a square. And that square, we're going to change the color of it to something like, uh, let's double click it, to F1, F1, F1. That will work perfect. It's like a creamy white. And we're going to take the stroke off the design. It's going to be like a white square. We're going to select the square again. We're going to go with the mesh tool. You can press U and you're going to go with the mesh tool. Tool. and after we have the mesh tool we're gonna select a different color when we do it for example i'm gonna click in the middle and i'm gonna select the rgb red and i'm gonna move the like the actual mesh tool the notes of the, the of the tool to the sides just to mess a little bit around with the shape of the of the mesh and then i'm gonna click right here and the color of this one i'm gonna select like an rgb blue something like that to make it look really really cool really really nice i'm gonna make them clash a little bit like right right here sorry about that right here something like but something softer so i wanted to come through but a little bit softer like something as you can see here it comes a little bit softer over there and it looks really really cool and we're gonna select another square or something like right here and this one i want to make it like a soft blue and i want to move it like something like that would be fine and just to finish it out i think a good thing would be add a little bit of yellow right at the top to make it look really really cool and this yellow we're gonna move it like right like there or something like that i think it's gonna look really really nice and we're gonna have something like this let me try to fix it a little bit with the mesh tool i'm gonna press u again just try to find just a little bit more balance within the colors to make them look really really nice i think softer in the edge I think that's gonna work really well. I think this is fine for an example and we're gonna have this type of design. So the next step will be jump into Photoshop. We're gonna go to Photoshop, we're gonna create a new document. It's gonna be 1920 by 1080. We're gonna go to web and we're gonna select 1920 by 1080 and we're gonna create a new document. In this document in Photoshop, we're gonna go back to Adobe Illustrator again and we're gonna select this document, Command C, and then we're gonna go to Photoshop. We're gonna press Command B and we're gonna select it as a smart object. This is really important because we don't wanna distort the vectors itself. So we're gonna have have this document and we're gonna just press enter and we're gonna have it in Photoshop. After we have it in Photoshop, something that I like to do with this type of design is just go to filter and I'm gonna add some blur. I like to go with a really soft motion blur, but like maybe like a seven is fine. Maybe like, let's go a little bit higher. Like, uh, yeah, like uh, I wanna go like with the 10 will be fine. And then I'm gonna go with filter. I'm gonna select another blur. I'm gonna go with a Gaussian blur just to give a little bit of extra blur in this hard edges of the shadow. Something like uh, 1.4, let's go a little bit higher, 2.2 so you can see it more after we have these blurs together it's really important that we go to filter noise add noise we're gonna select a, a little bit of amount of noise but not too heavy something like a let's go put 9.50 will be a, a good number so you can actually see it and it's gonna look really 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 nice so let me click okay and we're gonna have this noise in the background and it's gonna look really nice if you want to add text to it you don't have to but if you want to what you could do is create another layer and we're gonna type let's try something like gradients it, with the, the font that i'm using is held and displayed and i'm gonna type gradients Gradients. I'm going to select the creamy white as a color F1, 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 and it's like an off white. I'm going to just try to change the color of this F1, 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 and it's going to change right there. I'm going to press command T to resize the gradients text. I'm going to have something similar to this. I'm going to press command A to align it, and I'm going to select the move tool. After I select the move tool, I'm just going to select this one to align it in the center and this one to align it, uh, this one to align it vertically and this one to align it horizontally. I'm going to end it up with something like that. I'm just click command D to deselect. After I have this, I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to add a little bit of blur because I don't want those hard edges in the text and to create that vintage effect because I don't want those hard edges. I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to blur and I'm going to select a motion blur. It's going to ask you to convert it to a smart object. You're going to click convert to smart object. That's fine. And the angle will be zero, but the distance is going to be really, so really soft, like really subtle. It's going to be like a three, maybe four, five, something that is really subtle. I think that will be fine. Like a five will be fine. Let's do it a four. I'm going to click. Okay. You, you can barely see it, but it, believe me, it's going to look really nice. I'm going to go to blur. I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. And this Gaussian blur is going to be really soft, like a 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And after I add this Gaussian blur, the next step will be go to filter noise. And we're going to add noise just to match it a little bit with the background. And here we have it, our awesome gradients. I hope this video was useful for you and you learned something really cool about these gradients. I've been seeing them a lot on Dribble and Behance lately. If you feel like you learned something new, just give a like to the video. That will help me a lot. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.
Thank you.